can you really get real estate with no money, no credit? And what is that term called? But before we get to that, I want to talk about my top stock pick for today and my first person who downloaded the Robinhood app to get in the giveaway is our girl, oops, wrong slide, DJ Dad, fix yourself, is my girl right here, Denise Jackson, who is watching us live right now. She is the first person that got the app and downloaded it. As you see, Robin Hood, <laughs> it keeps a record of who downloads the app from my invites, and she's the only one so far. But I want to also want to read this to you guys. This is someone who caught my video when I did it in 2017 for Robin Hood. He's saying, been using Robin Hood app since you first introduced it back in the day, and I've been doing good. I said, thanks, my friend. What would you get? He got a bunch of shares of weed stock that I put him on to back then, the weed pharmacies and miracle Grow and Scott's Lawn because they was producing fertilizer. And he said he's made some money on it. And my stock tip for today is this little gem right here, Moderna. And as you can see, the reason why this makes my stock tip for today is simply because this is the leading company coming up with a vaccine for coronavirus. And in the last mm. week, if you see that little green arrow right there, they have gone up precipitously. <laughs> Look at the percent. They've gone up 27.9% in a week. And as of today, they're still going up. You guys get <laughs> some Moderna. That's our stock pick for the day. Right. All right, I'm going to check that one out. Check it out, yeah. man. Now, you know, I need to check out this Robin Hood. I, I haven't actually used it, so I'm kind of curious right. to see how it works. So... I may watch your video, but I might just call you up and just get like, you know, that personal, uh, you know, that personal one on one tutorial. Hey, man, do what you got to do, man. I'll hook you up. Hey, but here's here's my creed to anybody buying individual stocks. Always leverage your individual stocks with either ETFs, index funds or treasury bonds. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify. Right. All right? So in terms of real estate, I'm getting ready to give you all a piece of information that Kat's been charging two and $3,000 to go to a meeting to get, all right? Mm. I've got a link to my full video where I did this whole process and I caught the homeowner on the phone by mistake. If you see the look on my face in that video, I was like, oh shoot, I thought it was gonna go to the voicemail. But basically, and I'll show you a home that I done this system with, basically getting started in real estate with no money, no credit, whatever. It's called wholesaling. And what do you do? You ride around, you find a home that looks like this, that looks under love, under cared for, and you look up the information of the individual in your county's tax department. Once you get that information, you send them a little letter that says, I'm blankety blank with blankety blank. I have interest in your home. Are you willing to sell? And they're either going to get back with you or they're not. Eight times out of 10, they're not going to get back with you on the first try. Never happens. It took me two letters to get to this lady before I even got her. And then once you get them, once you get the individual, what you do is you put them on what you're going to be doing, a contract, and you're going to be trying to sell that piece of paper to an investor. What happens is you would give the lady like $100 to $200 to take the home off the market, go through an inspection period at last anywhere from two to four weeks. And while you're doing that inspection period, you're also looking for someone to buy the home. And if someone yeah. buys the home, you take the piece of paper and the contract, you give it to them, and you make the difference on whatever you put as a selling price on the home. In essence, you just become a broker. Ladies and gentlemen, huh. that is how you do real estate with no money, real estate with no credit. Now, is it easy? No. I just told you, and you get success, maybe a ratio of maybe one out of 10, maybe two out of 10 tries with people. Hmm. And right now, in the next couple of months, this is going to be a real hot thing to do because a lot of people are not going to be able to survive this coronavirus thing. Yeah. Good places to look for properties like this usually are on the outskirts of the hood because those properties are usually passed down through generations. And those people don't want to take care of those properties at all. And right. so they'll they'll literally let you come in, put a contract on a home, and all you're doing then is connecting that contract 
to someone who is willing to buy the home and fix it up. And then you just basically getting paid a finder's fee. So some of y'all might be asking, well, what if I can't find someone to push the contract to? Then you just go back and tell the, the person you're trying to, you, you put the contract on for the home. I couldn't find anyone in my resource debt for financing. Contract tear up, you off the hook. Simple as that. Again, it sounds simple in theory, but it is very hard. Number one, finding the person who owns a home like that. Then number two, having the courage to get on the phone with them and say, you know, I need to come see the home first. I need to check out some things so I can offer you a price on it. Then you've got to connect yourself with someone who has the resources to buy the home in a window of about two to three weeks. My advice to anyone who's thinking about making this something to do, before you even get involved with this, go to your local investor meetings and figure out who are the investors that are actually buying properties and not wholesaling. That's what I did. You go to your, you go to any Google and you put in your county and put in RIA meeting. So Google, for example, for me, hmm. Guilford County, RIA, which stands for Real Estate Investors Group, something, something, something. You go to their meetings, listen to them, see what they're talking about and figure out who are the people that have cash money and are buying these homes. Then you go find you one, market to them, They'll buy it off your hands. You walk away with five to six to ten thousand dollars, and all you did was push paper. And that's what I did with that particular home. Wow. And they will people will charge you four, two, and three thousand dollars for what I just told you. Now, if you want copies of the contract that I use, the phishing letter I use, check my video that is in the video description that says real estate, no money. Check it out, see what I did, and then hit me up on either my Instagram page or the Life Gains Facebook page if you want a copy of that, or if you want to see my real estate investing business plan. Fellas, any questions? Sounds pretty interesting, man. I remember back in my early entrepreneur days, man, uh, like in the early, like maybe 90, four, 95, somewhere around there, I used to, uh, man, I... I never had any luck with it, but I used to try the uh, William J. McCorkle and the Carlton sheets. You know, I don't know if you ever seen them on the information. I heard, a, I heard a rip off sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know about them dudes all too well because they tried to get me to. Yeah. And so uh, and I actually went to a, a, a Than Merrill workshop here. Not too he's, he's another rip off artist. Yeah. Man, Lord, have mercy. But don't, don't, do not go to the second level, T Stream. Do not give them money to go to the second level. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. So, you know, that's that, you know, for the person that, that has the, um, the ability to finesse that, you know, like, you know, because it's going to require some finesse and you mm -hmm. know, trying to get somebody up out of their house and stuff like that. Uh, you know, for the person that has to get the gab and, and the ability to do that, you know, is, Mm -hmm. Or you could either come to Detroit and buy one of these houses for a thousand dollars. They're giving a lot of them out for one dollar, but you gotta have some in your pocket to fix them up. Hey, and and you can help them with fixing them up, can't you? If they got enough money. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I do run a construction company. That's right. Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. I was actually thinking about going down there to Detroit to buy one of those those properties because I watched a I watched a program a while back where there was a, like a a collective of artists that went over in the neighborhood and they bought they bought basically like a whole block and mm -hmm. they started they started fixing all of them up and then they bought like a couple of others like sort of houses that were in the surrounding areas that sort of created like a little square where they basically was all just artists and so they were trying to get people to come in and part of the thing that was they would come in they would say hey if you come in we will actually give you a house the other artists and other people that are here will help you fix it up. But as part of the, um, but as part of the thing is for doing this is you actually have to live in the house for a period of time and you have to agree to share whatever your art is. Cause it was sort of, they're trying they were sort of creating like this sort of inner city art community. And they were saying, you have to share whatever it is you do, whether it's painting or sculpture or photography or music, whatever you have to share that with the local kids and, and the local community. 
So anyways, it seemed like it was a really cool thing they were doing. And, you know, but when I just was, when I saw that, I realized, geez, there, there's houses out there you can get for next to nothing. And I saw that, yes, you can buy a house for a couple hundred bucks or a thousand bucks or some of them, like they said, you can get them for just paying the taxes that are owed on them and then take it over yeah. and fix it. So, yeah, that's what, that's what happened to my sister two years ago. She found, she was able to buy one for a dollar and then they gave her, they gave her six months, they gave her six months to pay off like a $4,500 tax lien to it. Mm -hmm. And then the crazy thing about it, it went into tax lien right in the middle of a rehab. So it, it, the guys who had owned it had already come in and, and painted it, fixed the drywall and all that other kind of stuff. And she was just, I mean, put new furniture and everything in there and, and she lucked up, you know, she lucked up on that. And I'm like, and that's what sort of got me like, okay, maybe I can do it, you know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of that going on here. The, the only problem is, man, the stars is really making, they really making it hard because they, you know, they come down here or they send their teams and, and they buying a hundred, a thousand houses at a time mm. and contracts with Home Depot and, you know, and the local contractors. And so, you know, so they buying all the houses, rent, fix them up, rent them out and, and, you know, leaving and stuff like that. But, uh, but I'm sure it's, you got some good deals, you know, everywhere, but concerning what Lamont was talking about, you know, if it's, if, if you had, if you had that gift to gab and you can work that out, I, I would definitely be interested in hearing how you you know, how you guys success be with it. Somebody will try it. Give it a try. Like I said, that was one I did. And uh, I feel like I got lucky. That was my third one. And I got a phone call off of my first letter with that particular lady. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like I got lucky with it. And um, it, it, it went just the way I said it went. Um, but oftentimes, like I said, when you go to these pep rallies, where well, these guys be trying to hit you in the head for a lot of money, that's what they're <laughs> going to wind up telling you. Stay away from them, y'all. You can get a whole lot of this real estate info from your brother here who has been doing it for a long time and it has been successful for me. I've done residential. I've done commercial. Um, you know, there's a video me and my wife are kissing each other because we made a couple of nice six figure chunk on our, um, commercial child care that we renovated, fixed, held, leased for a couple of years, got the depreciation out of it. And then we sold it after mm. we fixed it up and bought it well below market value. So, I mean, it's there, but you just kind of got to be careful. And we've learned right. we've learned so many things from doing it the wrong way in the beginning that I just kept a nice long record of it, man. And um, anytime y'all got real estate questions, man, feel free to hit a brother up. And, uh, hey, I might be coming to Detroit trying to get me one or two of them properties if T me and T-String can work out a deal, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm a capitalist, you know what I'm saying? And we work out a deal. Mm -hmm. So.